morning. So it is about 5 a.m. right now. And today we're gonna go to the market in San Isidro, which is a huge market where they have all kinds of local stuff. And some of the farmers or growers actually come from miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers away. And <laughs> the first time I went there, my jaw just dropped to the floor. So this is gonna be an amazing experience. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive. If we're behind a truck, it's gonna be a little longer, unfortunately. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys along. It's amazing, epic, huge, grand. It's gonna be an experience. So, see you guys there. So today's the last day in this little cute tree house thing. Um, I've been staying here for about five days, something like that. Yeah, five, six days. I'm um, with Kat. It was a really cool experience, meeting her here, spending time with her. And um, this house is just so cool, man. <laughs> Like you're, of course, you can hear it already, you're next to the road, but you're also next to that jungle over there, so. Yeah, it's just amazing, man. It's just so cool. You can hear the howler monkeys and everything in the morning. And, um, yeah, pretty neat. So when people ask me like how is Costa Rica, how does it look like, I tell them every single turn is a view. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? Look at it. <laughs> That's what it's like. Beautiful. Now look at this. Again, we got ourselves a view. Oh man. The camera doesn't do it justice. Not at all. Look at that, man. There in the background, you can see San Isidro. And if you go up those mountains in the back, you drive all the way to San Jose. So yeah, this is just, look at that, man. Look at that. So look at the money in this country. They actually take that turn and try to make it beautiful. And there's all kinds of things on there. You see? Bring animals here. And on the other side, you have like this beautiful bird and some animals in there. It's just pretty in here. Gorgeous. You have some like some flowers and some hairs. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then on this one, this is a two thousand dollar mule. Well, not dollar, but two thousand colonials, which is pretty much worthless. But they like sharks and like some kind of coral reef, some tortugas. So cool, man. And then they always have this dude in the back. This one is looking very feisty. Then on this bill, they have like a sloth which is doing the typical sloth thing, just staring and being pretty dry. They have some toucans, some leaves and some pretty flowers. And then here we have our uh, Mr. Stare until you die guy again. That's all right though. He's yeah, like he's spending me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't waste my time. Well, you don't have fool. these red ones. Oh yeah, 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 the thousand ones. These are very common and worn out looking. Yeah, but they're still pretty nice. And there was a yellow five. On this yeah, there is. Place. Maybe we get it later when we spend some money, but look at this, man. They yeah. should put in an effort. The only thing I don't like here with the money is their insane and incessant amount of coins. It's just, mm -hmm. you get coins for everything, so yeah. Yeah, yeah this, is just, this is just, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing, like, yeah, I have, like, an entire wallet full of these damn coins, man, and it looks yeah. like Monopoly money, but still. There's some American in there, oops. They're trying to make an effort in it. spend these today. Yeah, like they put mountains on it, you see, and like, it's really beautiful. This one's 500. Yeah, the 500. One. They all have the same image, I believe, all the same mountain thing. Yeah, they do, they have the same mountain thing. So yeah, they make an effort here compared to the, to the gnomes and everything, it's pretty fun.
se recuerda que la próxima semana habrá rotación de espacio. Se comunica a los participantes de la feria que la próxima semana habrá rotación de espacio. Look at this thing. Look at my hand next to it. It's like a squash. That's sick, man. And they have like all kinds of like tropical fruits here too. Although this stand has already been purged. But I've had my first jackfruit ever here. I never saw one in real life, but they have them here. They also have like things like Rolinia, which is like cheesecake. I have some videos of those, I'll show them. Jesus, I don't know if this works. I don't think it works. Look at this. <laughs> it's like... It's like cheesecake, bro. <laughs> okay. oh. What's the rev? Yeah. Yeah, this is cool, man. Like, this just feels so cool. <laughs> There's another one here, like that. The avocados looking good. That mom is a over there. Those are those things. This market is sick, man. Sour sap. Look at that. Like it's spiky, sour, but still fresh and sweet kind of fruit. Very, very cool. Just in between your little shopping spree at the market, take in some sun. Good stuff. <laughs> this market's huge though, told you. <laughs> so I just got back from the market in San Isidro, and this is basically what I got, like I showed you guys. A bunch of watermelons and some um, piñas or pineapples. And I'm going to show you guys the house. So we've been staying here with uh, seven or eight of us for close to a little, a little over a month now. I have three more little watermelons under there. Or little, they're pretty big. Uh, but yeah, this is how the kitchen looks. And it's a pretty neat kitchen. We got like two fridges as well. This is basically where we store our fruit. Um, then we got this like nice little area where you can sit next to the kitchen and here we got all our coconuts it's about 80 to 90 now we had a hundred or something of them that's pretty good 
you know, this little stream that walks all across the width of the house, all the way over there. And then you have this little pond. It's sort of shaped in the form of a heart. That's pretty cool. And then here they have a growing fruit forest. They have all kinds of things here. There's already some papaya over here. They have like bananas and stuff. All kinds of stuff there, so it's pretty cool. But you have to go to wait a couple of years before that starts to actually pop. Yeah. And here we have like a couple of hammocks and stuff. Yeah. And in the back we have our the place where we crack the coconuts. So over here. We use the machete and then we crack them open. So yeah, this is just what you hear all day, like these animals. You're basically in the jungle. Now this is my room here. I sleep on the floor here, just like a simple yoga mat. Took the bed up and stuff. That's right. Got like a, a bathroom here. That's pretty okay. Pretty good shower actually. It's really nice. So, yeah. I'll show you guys upstairs because there's like room for rooms and rooms and rooms. It almost never ends. So many people you can put in this building. This cool little tapestry here with the sun and everything. As you can see, you're just in the jungle, man. So here we go up. We got a cool little tapestry here. As you can see. Huh. And here are like a couple of two two-person bedrooms and stuff. There's another one, there's a bathroom over here. We basically come here to the back porch. We have like a beautiful tapestry here again. And like a view of the jungle. And like that tree over there is like where a toucan likes to sit in and sing. Maybe I can show you guys a clip. Yeah, this is just amazing, man. It's been amazing to just be here and experience everything. And this house has been an amazing experience for me so far. The situation I came in, when I came here, was completely different now. Like, what they tell you, like, traveling, like, completely changes who you are and changes your life. It's, it's so true. It's so, so true. It's amazing. And then, when it rains, like, the water just goes down those little drains. And the waterfall is that way which I'll show you guys in a bit. But yeah, this house is amazing, man. Just look at that. It's really been a joy to stay here. I've learned so much about myself and I've experienced so much already and it's only been a month, but it feels like I've been here for six months, so. Yeah, it's really cool. So we came down from the top and this is actually the tent that Kevin sleeps in. It's one of the guys that we live with. Um, his um, Instagram is k2theunknown. A really great breathwork facilitator and a really great person in general. I've had wonderful conversations with him and many realizations. I'm highly convinced you to check him out. Um, if you want to do breathwork, he's the guy you want to go to. Now he sleeps in this little fortress here. Really nice. Now we're going to walk to the waterfall. And as you probably can already see here, like you can see sort of see the stream down there. Um, but it's really cool here. Um, so you basically just walk like one and a half, two minutes down. And um, I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you can see it um, without dragging it out too much. All right. So now we're approaching the waterfall. Before we go there, I'm going to show you this cool little like tree over here that just hangs there like like that it just fell down and it created like a very cool bridgeway now always imagine like i don't know like jaguars or whatever walking over there like doing their thing so yeah so you can hear the locusts you can hear them all day or whatever they're called 
And you have like this nice mud. It's really nice for your feet. I love it. Now we have to do some gymnastics to get down. Look at that. The water is really, really nice here. And this is the pool that I do my cold therapy sessions in every morning. And um, it's just great. You just chill out here and walk all the way up to the waterfall. And I'm going to show you from a different vantage point now. Here we go. Oh, look at that. You see that? It goes all the way up. All the way up there. You can go all the way up there. And we actually a couple of times walked all the way up there and walked for about 45 minutes to an hour and discovered all new kinds of waterfalls. So it's just amazing, man. Amazing. I'm, I feel so blessed that I experienced it all, even though I experienced a lot in this area. I'm just very grateful for it. And this is basically where I do all my cold therapy sessions. And as you can see, the water is so clear. Yeah, this is just amazing, man. So that will do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the ride, the market, the waterfall, the house, everything. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. It was quite an experience, especially always the same cues and everything that are so different and beautiful every single time. So that's amazing. Um, wanted to show you guys the house because my time in this house is coming to an end. I'm going to move to one of the little houses close to the tree house of the last episode in the jungle. I'm going to be there for a while on my own. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you guys the full experience of this house because it's just amazing, man. And this surrounding here, just look at it. <laughs> it's just amazing. So yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Hope you're all doing well. Um, stay well wherever you are and um, I'll see you in the next one.